Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the running stitch. I will be using Lion Brand Yarns Woolies Thick and Quick, and a finishing needle from Susan Bates. If you don't have a finishing needle, any yarn or tapestry needle with a large eye big enough to fit the yarn you're using will work for this. Now, you'll notice I didn't have a crochet hook. The running stitch is not a crochet stitch. This is a sewing stitch, but it can be very handy for crocheters. Let me show you how. I'm going to start by threading some yarn here on a needle. This is cut yarn. It's got the other end here. It's not attached to the skein at all, or the ball of yarn anyway. I've cut it off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate a couple different ways you can use the running stitch. Now, one way is to sew things together, to sew two pieces of crochet together. They could be the same. Maybe I could be sandwiching these together, or I could be adding an applique, whatever you want to do. Basically, I'm going to demonstrate the running stitch first as a decorative stitch right here on this square. So you could use this in a decorative manner by coming from behind, pull it all the way through, leaving enough at the end there to weave in when you're all done. And then you're going to go in and then come from behind and come back out. And then I'm just going to keep moving forward in the direction I want to go. Always going forward. You can see it's called the running stitch probably because it goes so darn fast. Now I am just going through rows, but I could absolutely do this between two rows. We'll just go ahead and make a right turn here, or a left turn, whichever direction you like. And I'm just kind of using, this is a field of single crochet stitches, but you could do this on a field of whatever stitches, but I'm just going the direction I want to go. And that's the running stitch. You see, it's not like the back stitch. I'm not doubling back at any point or anything like that. I'm just sewing, sewing, sewing. Now, what if I wanted to use this to actually sew two pieces of fabric together? I've got a little circle here. We're going to call it an applique because why not? And I'm going to use the applique, excuse me, use the running stitch now to use to sew on this applique. The running stitch is a really good one for sewing on appliques because it's really easy to pull out. Like if I decided, oh, you know what, I didn't want to turn there, that's not where I like it, all I have to do is use my needle to pull up the loops and it's going to pull right back out. Easy peasy. So when you're putting on an applique, the running stitch is a great way to do a first round around the applique in case you need to pull it out, in case you get it on there and you realize it's in the wrong spot. It's something I think we've all done. So, I would come up from behind through both layers, and of course if this was with a new piece of yarn I would still leave some on the end there to sew in. And then I'll just go, let's see, I came up through that stitch, so I'll go to the next stitch right here. Sometimes you really got to push through those a little bit, there we go. And then I would go to the next stitch and come up there. Now you can see I'm sort of following the circle of the applique here. I'm not so much worried about how it's looking from behind. Let's see, if I flip this over, you can see these are the stitches right here that I've done on the applique. So it's just gonna go in its own direction from behind there. But from the front, it's starting to get really tacked down, but it's still, same way, easy to pick out if that's what you need to do. So the running stitch is great. Uh, for decorative use, for putting on appliques, especially if you're not sure they're in exactly the right spot. Uh, if I did use it to put on the applique and it turns out it was in the right spot, I would probably do another round with a running stitch going in between the previous stitches, like there, just to make sure it's sewn on really securely, especially if it's an item that's going to go to a baby or a toddler or a small child who might tug on it a little more than we adults would. So just as a quick example here at the end, I'll show you one way I've used the running stitch in a pattern recently. This is the bring your own bag bag, designed for a six pack carrier. It's a little dark in here, so it's a little harder to see, but it could be a six pack carrier or whatever you want to put in there. And you can use, see I use the running stitch decoratively on the handles to simulate sort of that sewn look. So those are just some ideas of ways you can use the running stitch. I hope you'll give it a try and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.